Are you on the Wi-Fi here? Oh, hello! <laughs> Kira's talking about the Wi-Fi right there. Fun. Hey, this is Scott and Bethany Palmer, the Money Couple. Hi there, we're so glad to be with to you. Coming to you from our, our lovely home in, well not home, our uh, lovely no, city new offices. of uh, Colorado Springs, Colorado, in That's our right. new offices. We are so right. excited to have you and welcome to Wealth Wednesday. Yes, welcome. Our goal at Wealth Wednesdays is always to make not only you wealthier, when it comes to your money, but more importantly, your relationship wealthier. And yes. so that's why we call them Wealth Wednesdays. That's it's right. twofold, and we are just so excited to be with you. Right. So let's jump in. What first are we going to talk about Well, today? first of all, let me just say this. Okay. We love when you guys send us comments. Yes. Give us feedback, thumbs up, no thumbs down, just yep. positive yep. feedback. Yep. Just kidding. But anyways, comments, um, comments are great. We Cheers. use your comments on our blogs. <laughs> yes. We use your comments on our website. So keep them coming. Share this with your friends. Yes. But let's just let's jump in. Today, we're talking about the three keys to start your money plan without pain. That's right. No pain. No pain. No pain. You know, often we hear that no pain, no gain, That's but right. often what we also find is that pain brings nothing. Like you just don't do anything. <laughs> nothing happens. <laughs> you say, you know what? I don't really want to run that two mile. Like I run every morning. Yeah. This morning, I was like, I'm not doing that pain. Yeah. So I slept an extra hour. Oh. Just, yeah. How did that feel? Keeping it real. It felt right. amazing. <laughs> I feel great. So I'm so perky today. I know. You are so happy. I know. It's because I got an extra hour of sleep. I feel like I'm <laughs> 17 or something. Anyways. Okay. Um, so we want to talk about how do you make money plans without pain? That's right. All right. So we want to give you a little bit of context here. This month in Wealth Wednesdays, we are talking about financial infidelity. All right. Financial infidelity is lying, cheating, hoarding money inside of a relationship. Not good. It is absolutely tearing relationships bad, apart. Bad idea. We don't want it to happen right. anymore. Okay. As a matter of fact, here's this really cool stat we did on Facebook. I love this one. We talked about it last week, but the top 10 causes of relationship st strain, what's yeah. number one? It's money stress That's or money right. worries. Money worries. All right. No, we're not going to have and you worrying anymore. And give them the anymore. percentages because I think the percentages are 62 amazing. 62 percent of the people that were polled said money worries were more of a money of a strain to the relationship than extramarital affairs. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, believe it or not, I don't know. I, I, extramarital affair would be a pretty big deal to me. <laughs> Probably a little. I haven't had one. It would definitely be a little. Thank you. Okay. Um, me either. <laughs> So number, wow, true confessions. I know, true confessions <laughs> at the money couple. So the number two was working long hours at 40%. Yeah. Number three was extramarital affairs at 36%. So money and long hours were above extramarital affairs. I just, right. to me, Ooh. that's kooky. That's, that's kooky. a big deal. But the okay. point is money is the number one reason, which we've been telling you for years. Yes. It's the number one reason for divorces. It's uh, uh, w uh, people that have taken our money personality assessment. We've had over 150,000 people take that. The over 80,000 that have taken it with their spouses, 80% of the time, they're married to their money opposite. That's right. So when we read that money worries make up 62%, uh, so the important. main reason for marital okay. strength doesn't surprise me. All right, we're going to reduce this, right? Right. Hey, household, all of us together. Household right? chores were the last. That's right. At eight percent. No stress. Why there. is that? Because we just guys just don't do them. That's right. <laughs> there you go. We're not worried about it at all. Okay. Context. Here okay, we go. Sorry. All right. Back. All right. So we're talking about finance. There we go. Financial infidelity and the causes for it, and then how to combat that. Last week we talked uh, uh, about one of them. The one today we're going to talk about is lack of planning. Right. How easy lack of planning can come into your relationship and be one of the causes for financial infidelity. Again, financial infidelity, lying, cheating, hoarding money inside of the relationship. The reason why lack of planning is such a cause for financial infidelity is because it's so easy if you're not planning to kind of get a little spend in there and kind of secret spend, if you will, because you're not planning. It's like, eh, you're not planning, so I'll just go ahead and do this. But here's the deal. This financial infidelity is ruining relationships, and it just starts with a little one. Oh, a little one doesn't matter. And then all of a sudden, you're more and more and more. We don't want that anymore. But one of the main reasons why we do financial infidelity is because we're not communicating, and then again, we're not planning. So that's why the name of the one today is Three Keys to Start Your Money Plan Without Pain. We want you to just get started, and here's some tips. Do you right. want to give them the first one? Yeah, first tip. All right, first tip. Here we, we go. We want you to set a money start time. That's right. So you have to, one of the things that we talk about is that you have to make sure that you are intentional. Intentional, yes. intentional, intentional. And intentionality takes no real time. Right. It just takes a mindset. So you have to set the time 
in the calendar, we're gonna start talking about our money plan together. Now, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail, all right? So just let's just start talking about money, let's just start it, and let's do that, but we're gonna literally put it on the calendar. And no please, distractions, yeah, don't not Don't do with it kids. at 10.30 at night no. when all the kids just went down to bed and you're exhausted anyways, yes, exactly. because it's just gonna turn into a fight. That's right. Do it on a Saturday morning. Get up a little early, get a nice cup of coffee, yeah, you're starting fresh to start that conversation. Maybe a glass of wine too early was, in the morning. Well, I was just gonna Maybe say, late in the afternoon. We had somebody write in and say, oh, we just did our money huddle, which which actually a money start plan is not a money huddle. We talk about money huddle inside of our new money university. You've got to check it out. So cool. But that's besides the point. Right. Um, but this is just to get started. <laughs> she said, hey, man, we just got a glass of wine and we started talking. It was great. Yeah. So, so just do whatever is going to help yeah. create the least amount of stress. But please, please, yes. please, step Start. number one that you have to do is you have to set the time in the calendar or it just won't happen. That's right. All right. Point number two, key number two to starting your money plan is to actually give it a name. Give your money plan a name. Now, We've heard lots and lots of creative names, but sometimes when you have a name to it, it just feels more official and it's like, okay, we're going to do this. But name it together. Do, you know, have fun doing it. So here's some examples of, of names we've heard. Money Success Plan. Um, the Rock On Money Plan. Somebody had that name. Uh, what was another one here that we had? Um, uh, we Aren't Gonna Hide Money Plan. There's another one. Uh, yeah. That one we came up with. I never yeah. heard anyone having that one. No, before. that was ours. Yeah. But, but it's a lot better than like the Time From Hell plan. <laughs> I wouldn't use that one. <laughs> I would good. say that is probably... <laughs> It's not, it's, it's not gonna get you anywhere, <laughs> right? Because who's gonna who's gonna want to join you? Unless you just are both totally two negative people. Maybe it would work. Hey, for you. <laughs> You're total two pessimists, and maybe it, even if it is a time from hell, don't call. It that. <laughs> okay, there we go. Aren't you glad you tuned in today? <laughs> Wealth of knowledge. All right. Okay, point point number three. three. We're just. I got the giggles. We're just right. goofy today. <laughs> I, know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Whatever. We're sober. It's good. Okay, number three. You have to put line items that are going to help both of you. So you can't... I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry, everybody. Totally, I got the giggle. She did. I can't believe you said that. I can't, I can't get <laughs> mad at her because um, if you go to our YouTube channel, look at the... We were on the Everyday Show and Chris Parentis, who is quite possibly one of the funniest guys I've ever met in my life. He is amazing. He does amazing interviews, but he just makes me laugh. I got the giggles on live TV for three straight minutes. And they finally got to the point where they completely pan off me and just go to Bethany because me and the other host, Kathy, we can't, we cannot pull it together. It so, so anyways, okay. I so understand the giggles. Control number right. three, point number three. Right, so okay. point number three. You, you gotta got to make you sure it? you have, no. Okay. You got, well, yeah, you can jump okay. in a minute, but okay. I just want to make sure you're good. <laughs> um, you got to make sure you, that each of you are getting taken care of when it comes yeah. to this plan. Yeah. And so how do you do that? You gotta make sure that you're thinking about your money personalities. So let's say for instance, I'm a spender security seeker. I have to have some things that are just secure. So it's like a line item yeah. in there that's gonna make sure that it gives you that security. Now we're gonna talk in our Love and Money Minute more about the money personalities and how it applies to this because we wanna stay really high level. But as Scott said, I mean, it's, let's just take the extremes. You know, saver security seeker. If you're the saver security seeker type, you're not going to have as much of a problem with this plan as... You're going to love the plan. Right, exactly. But the more risk taker, spender kind of money personality isn't. But you've got to make sure that you put that spending line item Absolutely. in your plan. If you don't, that's how financial infidelity ha happens because you haven't talked about it. Hey, listen, you saver security seeker types. Make sure that you're not holding so hard to the tight, the purse strings that you're you're strangling your spouse and you're forcing them into financial infidelity because they do not want to be controlled like that. So make sure you put a. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's hurry. So real quick before we lose connection. Yeah. <laughs> Three keys to start with your money plan. Yep. You gotta set a start time. Yep. You gotta get it going. Yep. Number two, give your plan a name. And we reviewed right. no swear words.